Today, I will be answering every question I could think of that comes with the idea of Purge to hopefully answer the big question, what is Purge? I also just want to say that I'm sorry for the wait. I had a big video planned, but I don't like how it came out, so I just decided to change it up to a load of questions to hopefully get straight to the point. Also, for every single question in this video, there's going to be a timestamp down in the description, so you can look for specific ones, but I highly suggest watching the entire video because a lot of things you should know about Purge. Okay, so let's start off with the biggest question. When is Purge? So Purge is December 1st and is scheduled to start around 12 p.m. EST. Purge is going to last for three days. So what happens on those three days, you may be asking? On the first day, Purge will start. If you die, your inventory is going to drop. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. That's how Purge works. Claims are turned off, all of that stuff. And keep inventories are turned off. The second day, on the other hand, you'll be given a tracker, usually on the side of your screen, that's going to point to the closest person to you. This is going to cause PvP, and like if you stick in a secret underground bunker for too long or a Purge base, if you stay in one of those too long, people may be able to track you down. So keep that in mind on the second day. And on the final day, Hardcore is turned on. So if you die, you will get kicked from the server and won't be able to join Mega Survival till the start of next season, which is scheduled for Monday the 6th. We'll see if they can release it a little earlier since that is a Monday. You know, we want to play on the weekends. So what are the rules to purge? Although purge in real life doesn't have any laws, in game there are still a couple. You can't hack, so obviously that means you can't use anything that would give you an advantage over others, like auto clickers, kill aura, flying, anything like that. Also, you can't use any foul language in chat, so you can't swear, be rude to people, that sort of thing. Because really, if you break some of these rules, you're going to get banned from Purge. And then you may also get banned at the start of next season, which is going to put you really far behind. So don't break any rules. What you can do during Purge is cause a lot of chaos. Whether that's blowing up bases, destroying builds similar to spawns. So if you can go to slash warps, you're going to be able to destroy those spawns. You can also kill people, take their items. And of course, the best part of Purge, the biggest thing you can do is steal from people and raid their base. You could grab spawners and shulker boxes, but what you should try to steal during purge, what you really want to look for during purge, is those skin decks items. That's how you're going to make some money for next season and how you're going to profit from purge. So you can go ahead, grab any extra max enchants and armor in case you die on this first two days. What I would also suggest grabbing is any of these items on screen right now, especially the totems, because those will help you out a lot in PvP if you're close to death. I also think it's really fun if you find an item that you want to collect and try to get a lot of during perk. Last purge, I went for spawners and ended up with over 200 spawners, over 15 different types of spawners, ranging from magma to cow. It was, it was honestly pretty fun to grab some. But this season, I think I'm going to go for dragon heads and see how many I can get. Since I already have about 15 dragon heads, if I can get a stack, I'm going to be really happy. Actually, let's make this a challenge. Whoever can get the most dragon heads and DM me a picture or preferably a recording of them in your inventory on the Loverfellow server through my Discord, guys. Linked in the description if you want to join it. Great community, gonna be great at the start of the server. We'll get the first key for next season, and I'll also try to include you in a video of some sort. Hopefully that key crate video if I end up doing it. But now let's talk about what happens if you die during purge. So as you know, on the first two days, if you die, your inventory is going to drop, and then you'll have to respawn, you can fight again although you won't have any items to fight with unless you've saved them in your PV, which I would suggest putting a lot of your valuables in there. If you die on that last, which is the third day, you will not respawn. You will get banned from Mega Survival till the release of the new server. Okay, this is really important, so don't worry about getting banned though, because you'll just be able to join next season. So you last this whole time through Purge, you don't die once. What happens if you last the longest? So I really wish there was a reward because it would be something great. But unfortunately, there is no reward since you cannot really track how long someone stays live and still people don't even get online because I honestly, I don't even know why guys just get online server is going to end one way or the other. Now purge is over. What happens after purge? So the server will reset and everyone will start over from nothing. Well, that brings up the question. Will you lose all of your items from the season on the reset? And the simple answer is yes. When the server resets your inventory, your PV, your ender chest, 
all of that will reset. Also, the map resets to make it new areas to mine, new areas to build. So don't think you can just place down a chest somewhere and then go back to it later. That's not going to work. Any items that are placed down, any builds that and structures you have built will get cleared. That's something really important to keep in mind. So again, skin decks, any items that you have. Another big question that comes with a reset is will your money reset? So yes, your money will reset. And I'm going to classify that under your stats. So when the server resets, your balance is going to reset. Your experience is going to reset. Your kills to deaths are going to reset. And your MC MMO level is going to reset. So this, you may think this is bad, but actually it's going to be great because those people who have a billion dollars are now going to have nothing. It's going to be an even playing field where you will have stuff. Also, the market's not going to be as inflated. A lucky gem is probably going to cost $1,000 compared to like the 150,000 it's worth now that's gonna be a drastic change you do get to keep a couple things for example ranks and l bucks you'll get to keep that because that costs quote-unquote irl money that's the main reason why people transfer their money into l bucks try to buy l bucks closer to the end of the season so that they can keep some of their money as you move on to the next season and that's also why it's 100 million for 1k l bucks right now just because of the fact that but what else can you save for the next season so obviously like i said you could save lover bucks and ranks but you can also save items that you skin dex if you want to learn more about skin dexing you can watch this video it basically talks about everything about skin dexing but how skin dexing works very vague description right here guys you're going to do slash skin dex and you're going to save it there it's like first tab click the thing you want to save but that will break your items so if you're planning on using it for purge um, don't skin dex it yet. Again, watch this video. Talks everything you need to know about skin dexing. So, what happens to all those items without skins? Can you save armor? Can you save pickaxes with no skins? What's going to happen to them? So, sadly, you know, you can't. You can only save skin dexes because how skin dexing works is that it saves the look of the item. It does not save any of the enchants. So if you were able to save these normal items, next season you'd literally just get a netherite pickaxe or a netherite chestplate. Not really that helpful. You see what I'm saying here? So it's a little bit of a letdown. You put all that work into this stuff and now it's going to be reset. But just think of the positives, guys. The server is going to be revived and it's going to be more fun than ever. Trust me, this is my second season. I've experienced Purge in the start of the season. So even if you don't die by the end of the three days of Purge and the server shuts down for Friday, your inventory is still going to get cleared, okay? Your inventory is still going to get cleared. It doesn't matter. There's no way to save those items in your inventory. I'm really sorry. And this also brings up the other question. What happens if you don't get online during Purge? Oh, I never loaded in. What's going to happen to my inventory? Is it going to stay safe? And unfortunately, it's the same exact answer your stuff does not save no matter what if you don't get online that doesn't mean anything else your inventory is still gonna get cleared honestly just get online have fun on the server skin decks your items to save those ones that you can so another question that relates to resetting what happens if i put my stuff in chests or my ender chest during purge so even if you put stuff into the chest it doesn't matter if it doesn't get raided it's still going to clear because that's what a map reset is it clears everything it is an entire reset of the server and our final question that i get asked so much why is everyone so excited about perch if it's this giant reset that clears all of the hard work that you have done this season clears your bases clears your builds clears your money why are people excited about it well it means that it's a new season and new things to do we have a new daily reward system, a new PVP area, a bunch of new things coming, which I'll have a separate video about once Loverfella finishes all of his spoilers. And I feel like it's gonna be great to have this new season because it's a new beginning. If you're more of an OP player, you don't grind much. You don't play much on the server. So that means that you're now going to have stuff to play and do. Get back up to bow top and get your first like really good sword max setup. It's going to be fantastic. And also there will hopefully be a lot more people online. At the start of this season, there was 2000 people online at a time. You know how significant that is compared to the 300 to 500 there are online now? It's going to quadruple the size of the server. You're not going to realize how much fun it is until you experience it. And just remember, it is an online game. This is just Minecraft, guys. 
Minecraft is supposed to be fun and creative. But let me know down in the comments if I missed something. If you have another question, I'll try to have a pinned comment where I answer all the questions that I may have missed. And like always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're excited for Perch. I'm going to be giving my POV. We got a lot more stuff to come involving the Loverfella server, updates, money making methods. So yeah, if you're looking forward to it, guys, leave a like, consider subscribing, check out the Purge playlist to learn more about Purge and things you should do. And make sure you skin decks those items because if you don't, it's going to be a real rip when you don't get them next season. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Consider leaving a like and have a great day.